disappointing really when you they're, they're down to 10 men really 220 minute spells at the end of both halves was really the best you had in it but you can't legislate for their second goal and it's un just unfortunate it sort of like makes everybody come a little bit closer in the league now well, I, I, th I thought we I thought we I thought we started I thought we started poorly um, you know we had a gale force win and we never really um, never really got going, and then we've made a mistake for the for the first goal, which which whether whether we like it or not, I, I'm not making excuses. I'm I'm just saying how I see it. If goals change games, and when you give a goal away, you know you then got to score. So we 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 come at day we wanted to win the game. We, we obviously we needed to win the game. We wanted to win the game, and now all of a sudden you got to score two, which is you know that's that's difficult at this league at the best of times. So you know we we never really got going. We then go 2-0 down in, in bizarre circumstances. You'll probably not see that in a million games of football. I've, I've never seen it before. Um, I, I didn't actually see it, but obviously I've been told. So I, was, I was looking further down the pitch. But, you know, that's, that's one of them things. And then, you know, we score the goal, and that gives a lift. That, again, goals change games. We've scored a goal really at enough. DS has arrived in the box and headed it in. Um, great cross from Ollie Gale. Um, and then for 20 minutes, we, you know, we're on top. We we we, we look to look to play. And to be fair, the second half we're playing against the Gale Force Wind, which was tough. But we're playing against 10 men, which I suppose you'd expect to be. But the, the lads carried out everything that we asked to the letter. You know, we we got the ball wide. We, we manoeuvred the ball. I think Ollie's put probably seven or eight crosses in. I think Leighton's come on and put six, seven, eight crosses in. Um, you know, they've defended well as well. And I thought Dylan come on. I thought he was excellent. You know, for someone who went had a lot of football, he's coming back from injury. I thought, I thought he's probably our, our best player on the day. Probably got man the match rightly so. Um, and, and and you know, we've 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 done everything bar school. We've hit the post. The keepers made saves. We've missed a couple of chances. And you know, we've we've not huffed and puffed. We've had a right go. They have hit us on the break, and probably they will say they could have put it to bed three, four, one, which obviously. We might as well lose five one than lose two one because we're throwing men forward, we're taking miles off, and we're com committing um, ball players off. But what we mustn't do is panic. You know, we've got seven games to go. We've just had the heart ripped out of a team, and we? we've just lost Sam Gorgon. We've just lost Sam Murphy, and it looks like we've lost Michael Free. Probably three weeks ago, you'd say they was three of the first names on your sheet. But that's not an excuse. We've now brought in Conor Marshall, we've now brought in Dylan Edge, and we've brought in uh, Jack Gurney. So we'll keep we'll keep going. You know, no one's no one's throwing the towel in. I know people are going to be disappointed. I'm disappointed, and I, and I feel for the lads because when I just said to the lads in there, we're given everything we've got. We can't give them more. But and I and I say to them all the time, um, you'll get what you deserve at the end of the year. You get, and I believe I'm a strong believer in that. But. You don't get what you deserve if you keep making mistakes. Because if you keep making mistakes, you deserve not to win matches. And if you don't win matches, you, you, you go down. So, this this is a tough one today. You know, we've now played Gresley, Stocksbridge, Carlton at home in our in our mini League of Seven, and we you know and and Spalding, and we've took two points from twelve. And that's 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 not that's if if. If we weren't to achieve our goal, that's that's where that's where we've struggled this year. Because you, you shouldn't be beating teams like Sheffield, Mask, Osset, drawing with Brighouse, going away and drawing with Brighouse, and, and getting results like that, and then only taking two points from twelve in your little mini league. You know we've got another two opportunities. We've got Pickering at home, and we've got Mansfield at home. But we've got two we've got two real tough games away now. We've got Osset who are flying, pushing for playoffs. We've got um, Cleethorpes who have who are flying. We've got Cleve Forks who are flying, pushing for playoffs. And, um, you know, if they, if they put us to the sword like Tadcaster did last week, that's going to be difficult nights for us, difficult afternoons. But we'll keep going. I think Spalding have lost today. I think Carlton have lost. This, this isn't easy. There seem to be a, 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 a gulf between the sort of top top eight, ten, and, and the bottom six or seven because no one seemed to be able to pick, pick results up. So we know that we've got to get probably six or seven points to be safe. We also know we're very capable of getting them, but we also know that if we make mistakes that cost us goals and miss chances that cost us points, then that's, you know we're in the mix of everyone else. But I, I feel for the players today because I feel they've 
give everything they got. I feel for, you know, I hope Michael's all right, but now we've lost, you know, we've just lost three, three massive players, but we'll keep going. We, we ain't going to make that as an excuse. We'll keep going. Um, we'll keep driving. Like I said, I thought Dylan, I thought Dylan looked sharp today. That's sort of like a big advantage. With three years out, at least you have got almost a ready-made well, replacement. That was that was that was a that was a bit of, that was a bit of luck that you know we, you know we got him in really because you know I, I had him at Lane. He burst on the scene at 16, 17. You know he scored some goals at step three. He scored some winning goals. He, and you know, obviously, it changed the manager. That ain't, that ain't worked out for him for whatever reason. And then he picked up an injury, and you know, he he, he could be a real, he could be a diamond for us. He could, like not you know going on in the future. He's he's got ability. He's got confidence. When he's when he's confident, you know, him and Toby have played a lot together. Him him Owen and Toby have played a lot together. Danny's played with him obviously at youth team level. Lynn. So you know, he ain't coming into a. A, a totally fresh environment. I thought Connor was good. I thought Connor was good. I thought Tap was good. I, thought, I, I didn't think we had too many. You know, we've had stinking performances here. I didn't think that was a stinking performance. That's a stinking result. That's, a, that's an absolute stinking result. But that's, I won't. that's what it always comes down yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. No, if you no, if yeah. won one nil yeah. with a fluke goal, you'd be great. It's happy. But as yeah. it hasn't happened, you just got to. Pull yeah, if, carry we, on, if yeah. we if we win one nil and, and play poorly, we say, oh, you just have to play ugly and win if you like. But you know, I, I don't think we were brilliant by any sense. But that weren't a, that weren't a stinking lacklustre performance. That was just a, a performance where we, we can't afford to a, a game against a team we can't afford to give them two goals, and unfortunately we have. And like I say, you know, we've hit the post. Their keepers made one or two saves and missed one or two chances. You know, perhaps our final ball or decision making could have been a little bit better. At times around the box, but you know we played against the Gale Force. We absolutely had them penned in for long periods. I mean, but they've defended well. You've got to give credit to Gresley as well. You know they've probably got eight or nine new players from a month ago, a new management team. So you know he's he's bringing his bringing his own players in. They've obviously you know got some resources to do that. Um, and, and fair play to him. But you know they've given themselves a lifeline, and and we've put everyone in the bottom bottom six to seven looking over the shoulders again because you know the way they, they they fought today you'd expect them to pick one or two results up but on the other side of the corner I'd fully expect us to pick one or two results up so you know that's nothing like being in mid be born if we was in mid table mediocrity we've got someone to play for and anybody else you're looking at bringing in or you well obviously if Michael's if Michael's if Michael's now obviously we've got Dylan but you know, if I could bring one or two, I've, I've got to be careful as well of the of the finances, and I, you know, I'm, I'm sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul, and you know, I've, I've got to be careful. I'm, you know, there's, there's people that's costing people money as it is. I don't want them to cost them any more just to just to bring bodies in. You know, I I believe in the squad we've got. I don't think we'll go down. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I ain't, ain't going to come out here and say, "Oh, we'll be lucky to stay up." I don't. I don't think we'll go down. I think we've got enough if we put our best foot forward to stay up. And you know, if, if I'm wrong, people can come back to me at the end of the year and say, "Well, you was wrong. We went down." And I'll hold my hands up and take responsibility. But I don't, I don't think we will. And that's that's me. It's not me being brass. It's not me being big-headed. I, I know how hard the lads work. I know the quality we've got in the dressing room. Um, Yes, the players, uh, you know, the players we've um, got out injured at this. T we've been lucky, really. We've, we've, we've been, we've not had injuries all season, and now you know at the part you probably don't want to get them. You get them, but we we freshen things up, don't we? You know that's that's as simple as that. And you know if this would have this this weren't a Carlton, this, if this weren't a Carlton or. Um, you know, stops which I think we was better than that today and, and unfortunately Gresley defended well and, and we can capitalise on it.